Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Car vlog, hold on. Hello. Okay, oh, can I get some um, jelly? Strawberry jelly? Strawberry. Thank you so much. Y'all forgot I haven't paid for the meal already. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day, y'all. Long, long day. But no, it's not gonna be a long day. So y'all, we're on our way to Tennessee. Mm hmm It is time to get these brows. Oh, I hate dirty stuff. Why? Hey, mommy. Oh, they working fast today. Oh, he coming. Ah, oh, people, people, people. Anyways, happy Thursday morning to you guys. Um right now i'm getting some st uh, starbucks i need some starbucks don't i i'm getting some mcdonald's um me, me and my sister we uh got off work like at 6 a.m it's now 7 42 in the morning so we are headed to take her car to my aunt's house um about an hour away from here then we're gonna turn around and hit the highway to go to tennessee For breakfast, I got a sausage and cheese biscuit with a dirty wrapper on my straw. And I got an iced coffee so I can wake up to drive a little away. So we're leaving at 7. We'll eight, we're going to get there probably around 3 or 4 because we yeah, we had to we had to take showers and we had to pack because we didn't have nothing packed or um, nothing ready. So. Nothing like a fresh iced coffee. So good. It tastes a little bit different. I like their iced coffee is thin. I like thick base iced coffees, but it'll do. Anyways, I'm coming back because um I haven't vlogged. I haven't vlogged in almost two weeks um i uh, um well before this one y'all will see a vlog that i i that recorded when i was upset and uh, a freaking update on that y'all they end up not paying me the money but your girl still pay her rent all 852 dollars of it show did when i tell you god is in a blessing business he bless people if you do right by others. Oh, yeah, hold on. If you do right by others, tell the truth. Don't lie. You know what I'm saying? In due time, your blessings will flow. You know what I'm saying? Because, yeah. That's why I, I, I tell the truth. Regardless of what I'm going through or what happened, I still tell the truth because... In the, in the end, you're going to be blessed by it. And that's what he says. The Bible tells us to do that. So, that's what you're going to do on a regular basis. Because I'd rather be blessed than cursed. You know what I'm saying? In this world, the world is already hard enough. It's already hard enough. And then, y'all, and we just, another thing. We just got into school, y'all. And then it was a shooting um, out in um, Mansfield, Texas area uh mansfield like yesterday and it was a little kid he was a black kid no offense to nobody else he was a black kid because he was getting bullied and he came back to the school upset and he started shooting now i don't know if it was i don't know if anybody had passed away in the shooting but hopefully they didn't i just pray that all these parents just pray over their kids you know pray over your kids pray over your family you know like before they leave because you don't know if they're gonna come back. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's so hard out here. And that's why more and more every day I say that I want to be able to homeschool my kids because them going to regular school, I really, I'm really not gonna, I mean, I'm not even, you know, um, um, considering that because so much goes on in schools and I feel like whatever they teach my kids at school, I can teach them way more at my house. Also, I can teach them manners and morals and values. You know
know, so the stuff like they don't teach them at school, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, how to like handle their money and all those things that they don't teach kids at school. I believe that I, well, me and my husband will be able to teach them, you know, what they need to, oh, what they need to know more as far as like the world goes because like we've already lived a little bit not saying that we've lived a lot but you know we'll be able to like share our you know past experiences and stuff like that with our kids so but anyways that's my thought and I was talking to my sister about it you know Karen because she wants to because she, she's just thinking about um I'm taking taking my niece out of school because my niece y'all she wants to go to a freaking boarding school. I say, Janae, you're not a bad child, but we look, well, so growing up, we thought that those schools were for like bad kids, but it's really not. It's just for boarding school is where parents pay for their kids, you know, education and, and then they're able to stay there until they get out of regular school. So it's like a, it's, and then they also get taught college in the, in the, um, um, we're in school as well. That is where kids go to be more um, supervised, you know, in a um, Christian way or whatever base you you find. But Kara found a, a Christian based um, boarding school in Tyler. We do have an appointment to go look at it on the 14th um, of, of October. I know they said. Well, I know Karen said that Karen said that she wanted her to go just to go look at it. So we might be doing that. Um, if we do, I'll take you guys with me to go look at the boarding school. But Karen's not gonna put her in that because I don't think she needs to do that. Plus, it costs money per month for your kid to go there. So yeah, we're not gonna do that. But anyways, um, the apartment they suck. And I'm, oh, an update. So I'm moving into. I'm moving. Well. I can move into my new place on Monday, which is the 10th, um, and, but, like, my last day in this apartment is, um, October 31st, um, I'm going to sell most of, well, either I'm going to sell everything I have, or I'm going to give it away, or I'm going to trash it, um, but I'm, I'm going to put all of it on Facebook Market, on my Facebook page, I guess, and then I'll see what else is so whatever it doesn't sell i'm just gonna trash it because like the apartment because like we're moving into a three a three bedroom apartment um because my cousin he sold the house that he had because he had the house with a old with, well, with the ex and most of the stuff there was mostly hers so we got rid of oh my god so much stuff in the house and it finally sold for a really good amount and so that was a process y'all like home buying home selling is a process i never knew what all went into selling a home um but i know what goes into buying a home because i went to a um to a um home buying um class uh, at, at the beginning of last year and i, I may also vlog it so if, if i find a video i'll link it down below but you know, i gotta figure out where it's at but anyways, I went to a um, home buying class. So I, I really know how. Now I know the process of buying a home and selling a home. Selling a home, it's a lot if you don't do yearly maintenance on your home. It costs and the workload is a lot more versus you know, if, if you take if you take care of it um, like throughout the months and like throughout the years. Because my cousin, he invested almost like $50,000 just just to get it fixed like he had to fix a pool for thirty thousand. he had to um like he paid fifteen thousand to get painting um light fixtures a whole bathroom done and his bathroom was he got completely done over renovated but it looks it looks like it looks so good now like it looks so modern it looks so good so like he like the process like it was i think it was well worth it but all the time and money that we spent, well, I didn't spend money. I spent my time, you know, helping him fix it up. But that's a lot of work. But but I do, ooh, but I do want to, uh, but like my home, if I'm able to do that, 
I wouldn't mind getting a fix it up for about my about my first house or me I want to build from the ground up like this is what I want to do because yeah it's like less money well it's less money if you get a fixer but it'll be more money if you do um, uh, a, a new build but we'll see when that time comes um what else oh so sorry um so I can move into my new place on the 10th which is a Monday um, so I might start moving so over there slowly and just seeing what I can sell for the last two weeks. But the rest of it, I'm gonna trash. And like, I really want to keep my dresser, but I just don't have the people, you know, or the equipment to get it moved. Cause my cousin said he's not moving a thing. <laughs> Cause we moved so much stuff, y'all. It's crazy. So he said his arms and legs are like not even in the process of helping me move my stuff over there. So most of it, um, I'm gonna trash anyways, and then I think I'm just gonna get like new, like a new uh, dresser and stuff like that. And I'm just gonna throw away all my old stuff. I'm just gonna, well, it's not really old to me because I feel like it's just it's brand new still because I only had it for a year. Um, but I'm just gonna do it with it, and like I'm gonna save a lot of money because my next apartment is gonna be more like modern type vibes um even though i love the farmhouse feel of, of a home i love it but um it is so um right out here today um anyways i love the i, I love the feel and because like to me like like the farmhouse um style home is like so cozy like it makes me feel like super super home but um, but also like a modern type of feel also makes it feel at home too. So, um, oh, I hate traffic, y'all. No, no, I hate traffic. Um, so, but this time I'm going for more of like the browns, the greens, the whites, the tans, and the neutrals in my next apartment. So, I already have an idea of like what I want to do. So. Um, I'm gonna say for my couch. My couch is my couch is gonna be leather. It's either gonna be leather or I'm gonna find like a cloth one, like a tan one. But, I, but the one I've been wanting, I have my eye on for a long time, is tan. It's, it's a leather tan one, so that's what I want. So that's what I think I think I'm gonna get that one. It's like 1700, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, because I like call it pieces. Like, where am I going? Anyways, let me get rambling and watch the roll, y'all. I'll come back to y'all whenever I get to my next station, okay?
Hey guys, so we made it y'all. I'm over here washing my car, listening to some oldies over there, and we're just having a good time out here in Tennessee, you know? My uncle over here, got all the jams playing out here. Ooh, I was checking in because I have to go because I can't talk because the music's playing, but we're gonna have burgers tonight on the grill and just have family time. So I'll check in later. Cause they're like 30, 31 and